having to get up quite early in the morning today because we're getting the opportunity to actually speak at a high school and kind of talk about what I do and my process when it comes to design. And it kind of got me thinking, of course, like, why did I get into design? Why did I choose design over everything else? Let's talk about it. Okay, so the talk is done. Shout out to any of the students who so happened to me maybe watching this video. I appreciate you having me and I hope I kind of gave you some insight. But obviously for the many of you who weren't there, essentially I kind of just talked about my experience and what I do and what my process is like when it comes to design. Some of those things included my philosophy and I've spoke about it on this channel before, but the fact that I consider myself a designer, not an artist, because as artists, there's multiple different interpretations of your work compared to as a designer, you kind of are communicating a certain message and if that message isn't 100% perceived and it's perceived differently, then technically you kind of fail. We also went into just kind of the mood boarding process and building a foundation before actually embarking on a, on a new project, not really just jumping straight in. And with that, we created some CD covers, which I thought was pretty cool. Shout out to Debbie, by the way. Thank you for having me as that visiting artist. I would love to come back and uh, do some more talks. While trying to figure out my wording in terms of what I was going to say, it got me thinking and why I wanted to make this video of like, what is the reason why I started? What were some of the hurdles that I had to go through? And I can't necessarily say why design was something that kind of stick out into my mind. I mean, maybe it might've been because of YouTube and I was young and I was one of those kids watching a lot of gaming videos on YouTube and stuff like that. So maybe it has something to do with that. But besides that, I can't really pinpoint the exact moment that I kind of figured that design was something I wanted to do. It was kind of random. And I, and I mentioned it in the talk today with the kids where there was a moment when I was younger that I said I wanted to be a graphic designer to someone who was older. And when I said that, there was this kind of like bit of hesitation out of them. They're basically saying like, wait, no, but like honestly, what do you want to be? I kind of saw that and I was like, oh, I guess I can't really do that then, huh? Maybe I should do something else. And that dream kind of died and I just kind of let it be its own thing. Fast forward years later, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do and, and, and I remember that story. And when, the second I remembered that, it, it literally clicked for me. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm gonna prove that person wrong. I'm gonna prove all the people who might have been a bit hesitant. I'm gonna prove all those people wrong, that this is something I can do and I'm gonna be proud of. And the last thing I want to do is to not do something and regret it later on. Now is really the time to make mistakes. And you can't really make a mistake if you never even attempt it. So this is my attempt at making this a reality. It was really that one moment, recollecting on that specific moment that really kind of did it for me. But that's not the only thing. So the second reason was also because I was able to stay home and get a lot of my work done. I tend to be more of a homebody, so I like to be able to stay home because that's where I just feel the most comfortable for the most part. And I knew that I would be able to get a lot more work done by being able to do everything from home. That's why I like photography and videography, but you don't see me doing it as often because it requires me to go out into the real world. So that's also kind of part of it. I had trouble trying to pick the three and that was kind of the deciding factor for me. So, to each their own.